So this first piece is the brain real thing. And here, the meninges. It's the first time I've ever seen a piece dissected like this as a single unit. And it also mentions that the dura mater is sensitive to pain, whereas brain tissue isn't. And this is something that applies to a lot of different tissues around the body. When we talk about many internal organs, what we see is, when you're talking, for example, about the lungs, about uh, the liver, is that the tissue itself is not susceptible to pain. The capsule that envelops it is. And that's why also sometimes when you have an inflammation, for example, you can feel pain at those organs, but that's mostly because it's inflaming the capsule around it or compressing it outwards. A clear example of this will be that people who have intraparenchymal strokes do not experience pain. They just, for example, lose movement on one half of the body. It is not like they have an intense pain, like it would be for someone, for example, experiencing subarachnoid hemorrhage. That's different because blood irritates the meninges. That's exactly the point. The sensitivity to pain is on the meninges. 